Welcome to the final part of our Node.js CRUD tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will learn how to seamlessly delete data from a MySQL database while maintaining an engaging user interface using Bootstrap 5 of Canvas. Enabling users to remove unwanted data is a critical aspect of any CRUD application. We will guide you through implementing a user-friendly data deletion process using Bootstrap 5 of Canvas, ensuring that users can confidently manage their data. Now first, we want to create a confirmation dialog using Bootstrap of Canvas. So here, in form.html file, we have goes to JavaScript code part. And here we have make one delete data function with id variable as parameter. Under this function, first we have create one output variable and under this, we will create HTML for dialog box. So here, we have create one division tag with class is equal to text center class. Under this tag, we have to create one header three tag with class is equal to text danger and margin bottom four class. And between this, we have to write text like, are you sure you want to remove this data? So this message will be display. Now for store ID variable value. So we have create one input type hidden field. With ID attribute is equal to ID and value is equal to dollar sign with open and close bracket. And between this, we have to write id variable. So here, we have store id variable value under this hidden field. After this, we have create another input hidden field for store action data. So here, in id attribute, we have to write action and in value, we have to write delete. Next, we have to write input type is equal to hidden with id attribute is equal to name and value is equal to blank value. Same way, we have create another hidden field with id attribute is equal to email and value is equal to blank value. So here, we have create this two hidden field with blank value so we can easily send delete data request by using submit form function. Now we want to create confirmation button. So here we have to write button type is equal to button with class attribute is equal to button and button info class. After this, we have to write on click attribute is equal to submit form function. And in button text, we have to write OK. So it will make OK confirmation button. And when we have click on this button, then it will send delete data to Ajax request to server. Next, we want to make cancel button. So here we have to write button tag with type is equal to button and class is equal to button and button default class. After this, we have to write data BS dismiss attribute is equal to off canvas and in button text. We have to write cancel, so it will create cancel button, and when we have click on this button, then it will close off canvas sidebar. Now we want to display this code in off canvas sidebar, so here we have to write off canvas body variable dot inner HTML property is equal to output variable. After this, we want to change off canvas header text. So here, we have to write off canvas label variable dot in a HTML property is equal to delete data confirmation. Now we want to show off canvas sidebar on web page. So here, we have to write off canvas variable dot show method. So it will display off canvas sidebar on web page. So here our function is ready. Now we have goes to delete button code. 
And here, we have to write, on click attribute is equal to, delete data function. And in parameter, we have to write, dollar sign, with open and close bracket, and between this. We have to write, data.id, so when, we have click on, delete button, then it will called, delete function. Which will display, delete data confirmation, by using off canvas sidebar, with ok and cancel button. And if, we have click on, cancel button, then it will close, off canvas sidebar, but suppose. When we have click on ok button, then it will call, submit form function, which will send, delete data request, to server, by using ajax request. So we have goes to, server.javascript file, and here, we have goes to, submit data root. And under this root, first it has store, data into local variable, and now for delete data. Here we have to write, if statement, and under condition, we have to write. Action variable value is equal to, delete, so if this condition true, then it will execute, if block of code. And here, we have to write, query variable is equal to, delete from user table, where id is equal to, placeholder. So here, we have create, delete data request, and now we have to define data, for delete data. So here we have to write, data variable is equal to, id variable, in an array. Next we have to create, dynamic success message. So here we have to write, message variable is equal to, data has been deleted. So this message will be sent to, ajax request, in json format, which will be pop up, on web page, and after deleting of data. And here, we have already write code, for execute delete data query. So here our code is ready. Now we have check, output in the browser. So first here, in terminal, first we have run this command, which will start, node server. Now here, we have refresh web page, and after refresh of web page, here we can see that. User data has been load, in jQuery data table, with edit and delete button. Now we want to delete, this user data, so here we have click, on delete button. So after click on, delete button, here we can see that, delete data confirmation has been asked, by using off canvas sidebar. And it has asked, delete data confirmation, with ok and cancel button. So first we have click on, cancel button, so after click on, cancel button, here we can see that, off canvas sidebar has been, removed from web page. Now again, we have click on, delete button, so again, it has asked, delete data confirmation, via off canvas sidebar, with ok, and cancel button. But now, we have click on, ok button, so after click on, ok button, here we can see that user data has been removed from my SQL database and here we can see success message has been pop up on web page. And after this, here we can see that remaining data has been display in jQuery data table without refresh of web page. So this way, we can use Bootstrap 5 of Canvas as delete data confirmation dialog box for delete data operation under this Node.js CRUD application. Lastly thank you for watching this video, and we will be meet, in next video tutorial.